If you're outside of the fighting world, people that fight seem crazy. And if you're like inside the fight, you actually fight. A lot of my friends, you know, like uh, MMA fighters, Muay Thai fighters, they all say like, are you crazy? Because it seems crazy for them. So I like to go there and fight. I like to, to show uh, what I'm capable of. I want to see like, I want to show them who's the alpha male. Well, Litwe is, uh, is the most aggressive uh, striking art uh, out there. It's really, uh, it's really raw. You only fight with gauze and tape, so bare knuckle. It's very light, so you can grab, you can clinch, uh, basically you can slap. It's, uh, it's smaller than MMA glove, it's, it's only tape. The coolest aspect of Lithuay is that each corner, each guy, have one chance of uh, like one timeout in each fight. So you can get one revival uh, if you get knocked out. It has to be done before the fifth round, so anytime like first or uh, first to fourth, um, and you get get revived. The you know whatever whatever's uh, they can punch you, they can slap you, you get revived, and then you're allowed to go back in the in the in the fight. So Litwe is uh, Burmese bare boxing. It's uh, traditionally from Myanmar. Everything started there. Back in the days, the, the guys were fighting in sand pits. And what I like about that is it kind of, the rules and the tradition kind of stayed all across the years. So now it's in a ring, obviously, but still, you know, still bare -knuckle. There's no rules, there's no judge. So there's no scoring system, which is the coolest aspect, I feel. That's why Litwe is, so, is, is getting so popular right now, is because it's easy to understand. You know, like I said, my grandma can understand the game. The guy that's standing up at the end of the fight wins. If the two guys are standing up, it's a draw. That's the real traditional rules of Burmese Bernicke boxing and uh, that's the true essence of Litwe. In the next couple of years, because of Litwe and because of, uh, of, uh, of the attention the sport brings to the country, I think it's going to make the country grow uh, beyond expectation, especially that now they open the borders to, uh, to tourists. Uh, it was closed for many years. Litwe is uh, very different from the other sports in striking, kickboxing, Muay Thai. So since there's no scoring system, there's no like uh, attempt to score points. So there's less kicks. If you look at Muay Thai, for example, there's more kicks and the guys, they start fighting maybe at the, the third round just because they want to pace themselves. Um, there's no such thing as Litwe. So you go straight off like from the, from the ring, you go straight up for the kill. Uh, so it's not uncommon to see KOs in the first or second round. So for, for preparation, uh, way more punches, uh, like uh, way more um, attacks from the clinch, you know, the elbows, the headbutts, combination from this. Uh, I also train a lot my neck. I feel that's it's the most uh, untrained uh, thing that the guys do. I started a trend at the gym now, like I really uh, bring the guys and train their necks. Like right now we're really changing the game, you know, people like look at me at the gym like what are you doing bro, like what is that? I'm trying to bring all the guys that have like more guts than the, the average to bring, bring them over in Litwe. Challenge them, you know, they want to they wanna really see what's the, the best of the capabilities, what they can fight and I think that Litwe really pushes you to your limit. If I paved the way for all those, uh, those uh, future fighters, I'm going to be very happy about that. So in uh, December 2016, I did a fight with uh, Tun Tun Min, a very anticipated rematch. It was the country's, uh, like it was crazy, Ever, everybody was there, the whole, I, I don't, the whole country was watching. It was pretty intense, the whole, it was at the Tuana Stadium. Crazy uh, reaction from people. Third round, I incapacitated the Tuntun Min, couldn't continue. It was the most, uh, the most powerful moment of my life, the most, the most intense moment of my life. I still have goosebumps talking about it. When, when I saw that he couldn't get up after the, the 10-second the uh, count, I was invaded with a feeling of uh, 
of extreme blissfulness. I was so happy and so proud of all those years of accomplishment. Especially in a sport I'd always like looked at and uh, wanted to practice. And not only that I fight in it and I beat uh, the champions, now I am the world champion. And um, I could not be more grateful for the opportunity from uh, all the, the promoters. Really an intense moment, I remember. Uh, I had tears in my eyes and uh, I, I hugged my wife. It was like the beginning of a new, of a new journey and uh, since then it's, it's been crazy, the response is crazy.